Hello, this is John Pham with Wise Engineering. Today I'm going to show you how to make and modify a metahuman. So once you look up MetaHumans Creator, you can actually just click on this link right here. It's metahuman.unreal.com. So I've already opened up a session. You can only have one at a time. So once you're in here, um, you just have to log in. And then you can create MetaHuman. I've made a couple in the past and nothing too crazy. So pick a starting point that you like. I think I'll start with this guy. Kind of like his hair. <laughs> um, but it doesn't really matter which one you start with. Because um, you can modify them as much as you like. So from here we have um, our character. Uh, I like to just press stop right here. Gets them into like a very um, paused pose. Um, so if you want to rotate, just hold down alt and left click. And then to pan, just middle mouse click. It's a very um, sp specified like um, how far or how you can pan. It's kind of locked to like an axis. Um, you can also use, use middle mouse uh, wheel to uh, go in and out. Um, yep. Oh, you could also hold down right click and move things around too. But anyways, um, let's uh, go into how we can modify this guy. So one of the ways you can modify MetaHuman is to take a couple different um, characters and like blend them together. So after you have that, in the blending options you can um, make it look like one of the three other characters you set up. I think, I think you, can, you can even do like a couple more but I usually don't do it this way. I usually like to use the move and sculpt options. So the move is a little more general. You can use it to like, once you click one of these like handle things, you can move it in one of the four directions and modify it. So you get some degree of um, customizability. Make sure you rotate around. Um, it's a little bit like sculpting. Um, you could actually turn off the hair. That might make it easier to see things. And if you're trying to make it look like someone, probably have reference image up on your other screen or somewhere close by. Um, yeah, so once you go, you're happy with where you move things around, you can go to Sculpt and really, uh, really modify up some more. Really, like, get very, like, specific and really change things up. It's almost like just the structure of, like, the bones and eye shape and all that mouth size and everything. See if you go to preview, you press play and see how everything looks. Let's see. Um so yeah, that was that. Um there's a couple of more options, freckles, accents, things like that. Different eyes, you can modify the eyes and everything. 
lots of stuff. Um, I don't think I need to get into this too much. It's fun just to just play around. Give his hair back. <laughs> uh, if you know some of these have a little uh, warning symbol, it means that you can't have it at like certain um, levels of detail. Like this is only available like the first two, I believe, because once you get too low, it's not gonna support it. Because the idea is to have it like from far away, and it's not gonna quite like um, work as optimization feature if it's so like uh, powerful the hair thing, or it won't like support this turn into planes kind of thing. Eyebrows, you can customize color and things like that. A uh, couple different mustaches if you want. Change your beard if you want to. So, um, you can also make a person a female uh, shape, a little heavier, or maybe a little smaller. Same with the men. Um, you can also change the height, make them tall or short or average. Uh, right now, there's only a couple outfit options. Maybe in another video I can go over like how to make custom outfits, but for now we're just going to stick to these um, like default options. Okay, so anyways, um, once you're happy with your character, you can probably like change the name or whatever. And oh, also make sure you don't um, keep this window open for too long because then it will automatically kick you out because I think it uses up server space or something. Because I'm betting um, this is all done streamed from other computers. Um, yeah, so you just go back to my meta humans. And yeah, now it's in your collection. And we'll move on the bridge.